the, the main point of my talk today is the idea of exceeding expectations. And so through design and understanding who your customer is, how can you do the little things that can truly make the biggest difference? Yeah, I live as a homeless monk wandering around in the forest, yeah? And um, I go on arms round in the morning and beg for food. I hitchhike to the town, hitchhike back. But then after that, it's, it's silence in the forest. So I come to this and it's like, vroom. So if I was presented with uh, someone who suggested they may not be a creative person or they couldn't design, uh, I, I might try to encourage them to look at the many little decisions they make each day and help them see that that is an act of creativity. Whether it's the food you have in the morning or the clothes you decide to wear. And when you get excited about the decisions you make in your life, you can get more excited about the other creative challenges in your life. We spoke a lot to courage without that output from service design and experience designers. It's very hard to muster up the courage to do real change and to make things come about and turn into what you have in your mind into the world. I think it's a, a great event for bringing people from a lot of different backgrounds together. I mean, it's just a, a really great opportunity to learn and get perspectives. It, it, it's really great. I, I learn a lot when I'm here. It's amazing and incredible how far the discipline has come. There seems to be a real, uh, both a convergence on best practices as well as actually a, a divergence in, in the broad sectors it's being applied. <laughs>